Hey guys, in this video I want to share with you some more advanced topics on body language because this helps you communicate with people they see where they're coming from if they're being receptive or they're being open when they're talking to you. If you look at our online videos, there are a lot of uh, face value information that in reality it just doesn't work like that and I'll give you some examples. Let's say someone is shy, like they're all like default state is being shy. You're not going to expect that person to be open when you're talking to them. It doesn't mean they don't like you, it just means they are shy. On the other hand, let's say you have someone, let's say from the personality types, it's a INTJ. INTJs are notorious for being a little uh, robotic when they're talking because they have this systematic way of seeing the world. They, they look as people being uh, like they are arrogant, but they're not. It's just their personality. So if you take things at face value, you might think that you'll be talking with someone that is being arrogant to you that's looking like uh, above you. But you might, you'll be wrong because it's a personality. They might be engaged in the conversation. They're asking you questions and talking because they want to learn more. Anti-Js are notorious for this. They like absorb information and can skew out like a, a learning lesson. You can actually learn from people like that. So this is just an example. So I want to show you a better way of doing body language because if you get better at this, I promise you, we will do better with people. So I'll give you some examples. To make a decision, to make a better decision, you need to assess that person's baseline, how they usually behave in the normal circumstances. The second way of doing this is you thinking how like most people would react under these situations. So if you see that there's a disconnect, now you can like delve in into further digging into finding out exactly what's going on there. So here are some examples of what I mean. You're talking and I just crossed my arms. Am I close to you or it's because it's very cold today? I give another example. People when they scratch their nose, typically out there it's perceived to be someone that is lying because they're uncomfortable to scratch their nose in a way when they're talking. So let's say I am talking and I scratch my nose. But you don't know I have a cat here, so it might be some fur. So this is one I want to share with you. In the last example, today's super hot. Like it's incredibly hot, I'm sweating bullets. And while you're talking, like I'm sweating and I get like my hand like behind my neck and like so am I uncomfortable with the questions that you are asking me or is it just because it's too hot? So this is what I have for you today. Don't jump too well into assessments because you might be making a wrong conclusion about that person.